Hello and welcome to Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning and that is a lot of fossils. You join me at Beverly Beach State Beach in Oregon. It's a popular place for, for beach goers and rock hounds alike and is famous for its many fossils and also great rock hounding. This cliff behind me is made out of two main formations. The Astoria Formation, which is a shallow sandstone, and in this part of the formation is, has a lot of deltaic sediments, and the Nye Formation, which is made of a lot of uh, runoff of ash from the Cascades as they were forming out in central Oregon, and they formed both between about 20 and 15 million years ago. This outcrop of shell bedding comes from the Astoria Formation, a shallow water sandstone. The shells of all the creatures that lived in the formation remain preserved today because as the formation was buried as time progressed, uh, a lot of heat built up in the formation and that allowed the knacker and other shell forming minerals, primarily calcium carbonate, to become much harder and last a lot longer, be more durable. Rising mineral laden spring waters also permeated the shells and allowed them to remain to this day. There's a number of different kinds of fossils that are found here at Beverly Beach. The shell fossils, like we saw a moment ago, and also different kinds of petrified wood, including something called Torito wood, which is the burrows, the fossilized burrows of, of a type of worm that would live in the wood, and carbonized wood, which is a type of petrified wood, and also we have concretions. A concretion is a very complicated thing. We still aren't quite sure how they form, but the bottom line is a piece of debris in the sediment has minerals and other sediment build up around it until it forms a large ball. And this ball or shape uh, can be very hard and often contains fossils. This is a piece of Torito wood. Torito wood forms when ship worms or wood worms uh, bore into a piece of decaying wood matter and their burrows remain preserved in sediment or minerals that fill in the burrows after the worm has died and left the burrow. The wood often decays away, leaving a maze-like lattice of these worm burrows. But in this particular piece, the remaining wood has been preserved by carbonization. As the piece of wood is buried and gets very, very hot underground over millions of years, most of the structure of the wood is lost, and just the carbon remains as a very telling form of how the piece of wood was. The rock structure here at Beverly Beach is very interesting. At the bottom, we have the Nye Formation. Above it, the Astoria Formation, and above that, ancient mud flat and sand dune deposits that date from a before the last ice age. So they're tens of thousands of years old versus the bottom two formations, which are tens of millions of years old. Over there, we can see that the mud flat and sand dune deposits come right down to the beachfront. But behind me, the Astoria and Nye formations are bent up a little bit in a slight anticline that allows them to be exposed on the cliff face here. This slight anticline behind me allows with the fossils to be much more easily accessible than they would otherwise be. This has been Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning, thank you for watching.